Okay, guys, it had to happen. My first loss of the series. Enemy team had insane scaling and we didn't manage to close the game in the correct way. I'm 14, 5 and 3 this game. So it could be very easy to say, bro, I was 1v9, my team was so shit, they made this and this and this mistake. And you're going to see at the end of the video that they do a ton of mistake, but it doesn't matter. What I want you to take from this loss is how you should approach losses. And I say it word by word at the end. Did I make, if I made zero mistakes this game, would we have won that? Yes, we would. If I had, uh, I, I go eight and zero, I think I go a bit crazy. And if I keep playing perfectly, play to play to play, we would get to the Nexus and we would have won that one, 100%. So if one of my mistakes brought us away from victory, it's my fault. That's it. If I'm focused on winning, like that's, that's my fault. So then, if I'm not sure exactly what was the mistake, I go into the replay, I rewatch the game, I put the ego aside, and then I just look at myself. Of course, I could look at this guy made this mistake, and if he didn't, it would have won that play, etc. But it's not me, it's not in my control. I just look at myself, review my gameplay, try to look at those key moments, and would I have been able to see that it was a bad play before it happened. So if I'm in the same situation, I'm able to see it and then prevent myself from going for that losing play. So it's going to be very important. It's very humbling. This also made me refocus on my next games because at some point I thought in my mind, oh, this game is won. Like we're snowballing so hard, it is won. And this is terrible mindset. As I told you on the game where I started in zero and four and then went to get a pentakill, Regardless of the situation, you always have a best play and should go for it. And here, even if you're really ahead and you have a lot of good plays, you always have a best one. And that's what you should play for. Nothing else. All the time. The only question is, what is the best play now? Go for the best play. So you would have the game and then you'll have my review after it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Much love. <laughs>
And if you cannot, do not chase for one bit. Uh, and then if he decides to proxy and to refuse to lane against you. Well, then there's a pretty simple answer. Uh, you proxy as well, but in between camps, you go for what it's called. You go for camps and he cannot go for camps. He's going to get level two here. So I'm going to play for my level three myself. I get my E, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, very good. So, so yeah, what you can do in between waves is look for gank smith. So you try to prevent that by pinging. And what you can do is take camps and try to uh, snowball to the jungle. Really good. So... I'm gonna go tier 1 boots, I just wanna be faster than him, I don't need to be like extremely faster than him. And then I'm gonna go for some raw stats. Some AD, some attack speed. Oh, please don't die to smolder. Yeah. Okay, Wei well, is having good pressure into bot. Oh, we're winning in CS by a lot bot lane. And good pressure mid for Wei. Yeah, I think Kane should look to gank this. That should be a free double. Nah, you had one job. Not die. And they both die. Oh, that's so tragic. Okay, well, he has no boots, so run faster. Ah, the E didn't deal damage. But it's still gonna be very good. Okay, I'm gonna walk in the bush to kinda reset my cooldowns. Since she's pacing. You know where Kiana is. So I'm gonna freeze a bit in order to deny that whole wave. Nice job. Deny that whole wave. Make sure that I get uh, high in HP again. Now I'm gonna start pushing. I mean, we kinda knew I should have pinged that probably. Oh, he has to use flash. I don't like what's happening here. Okay, let's try to. Get in range without using E. Oh, but I mean, he's escaping towards my wave. I'm ghosting beca because I, wa I want to kill before he gets the opportunity to get his E again. I should have probably not ghosted though. Because my idea with ghosting is that the faster I kill, the faster I push, the faster I can um, go for a demolish proc. The faster I can go and proxy that wave. Okay, he was smart here. I didn't have a ward to prevent that. So... Cannot really. I'm just gonna clear the wave, reset, spend my gold. Mm. Maybe actually go tier 2 boots. Have enough AD. Do not need to buy more. Uh, let's see. Top 4 winning hard now. I mean, it's basically all about the runes. Like, same guy, he goes ghost and face rush. I, I cannot abuse the way the way he did. Um. We're winning a bit everywhere, but I don't think it's enough yet to counter the fact that we're getting outscaled. Okay, he's going for it. Well, I have tier 2 boots to no boots, so I think I can punish that. Well, that's not an execute. 
Okay, that's not the best proxy that I've seen. Not the best proxy that I've seen in my life. Uh, yeah, don't greet for this. Uh, I guess we greet for this. Just gonna wait a bit that the cannon gets denied. Go for a demolish proc. Try to only hit the demolish proc before the plate is taken. That was a bit risky. He could have eaten me. So the turret doesn't get extra resistances and I deal more damage to it. No, I can hit, but I'm not gonna put myself in a in E range where he can E me under turret. Okay, he's going crazy. Again, no phase rush, so I just kinda outrun him. Yo, yo, we can we can still. Wait, what is he scared of? <laughs> now imagine Kane came. She still has ult, she can pretty much one shot me with one combo. W for AD debuff. E for HP. Nice. Okay, I just want to find a base now. I'm a Kraken Slayer. Uh, this is not a cannon wave, I'd rather base on a cannon wave, so I'm just gonna push that one. If I can trade some HP, I'm happy about it. Because I'm basing anyway, so I'll be full HP. And we base now. Okay, I will have to keep pushing, keep pressuring. Ult. Okay. I wasn't able to steal that. Fine though. my W, my E. Yeah, I had to ult. If I ghosted earlier, I wouldn't have to ult, but I wanted to keep my ult and it cost me my ghost. Wrong calculations happens. But now I feel like I cannot stay on the map because Kiana might come. So overall, that's not that's not my best play of this game. The wave is not good. Okay, they sh they should be able to kill this. Smolder as well. Nice. One, two. Nice. I know that he was probably baiting for Kiana, but I felt strong enough. To win this till. Try to put myself in a situation where she wouldn't have any obvious ults, the Kiana. Ok. 
Okay, I'm gonna just drop a ward, get some info, look for a plant if there is one. Uh, I could take this, but it makes me lose a lot of HP. I kind of want it though. So we have five grubs. We have the little monster. I guess I actually don't lose HP. I'm pretty strong, and it's only one of them. Nice, nice, nice. I see Kiana now. We got the Drake. It's fine. Uh, Drakes are a win condition. We have two of them. It's not the best soul. It's still like it still has value though. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Maybe it hasn't done that consistently, so still getting surprised by it. Good job. He'd mean his W. Okay, he gets the the red aggro because of that. Nice triple on bot. Uh, and now I can go for... Oh, I didn't think he would have the time. I would just ping Kane to go for it because it's blue Kane. There's no way he cannot get it, right? And Hui is, is moving. And then I will use Grubs to actually... Take this turret. Take next wave. I might pace for PD here. I think it's a good spike. It's, it's good versus their champs. It's just like a really good spike. I don't have enough gold for... For like way better stuff. I might just go bot. Or go here and that pay. Ah, my bad. I thought I would, I would be able to like Q, auto, E something, finish her off. I guess she still had ult. Didn't take that into account. It's still winning though. I mean, I gave her 1k shot onto Kiana. And that's probably not good. Okay, if we can ha get another charge. Yeah, we're not gonna get it. Are we? No, we're not. Oh, that's so sad, and then she takes the aggro. <laughs> and now we all die. Yeah, this is pretty sad. Probably comes down to my fault, though. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. It's okay, let's not panic. I'm still pretty big here. And I still have really good split power. Um, probably want to play for these. Okay. I'm gonna take this before he does. Okay, that's another kill. Oh, he's in the bush now. Okay, I saw him with W, but I was like, where the fuck is he? Good, it could delay the death. 
why do you ult for the the unnecessary is ulting here? It's okay. Okay, slow him. I ulted a bit early because I, I because I didn't know where Kiana is and I thought Kiana could be coming back. Not sure what happened. We just got flanked by Cassidy. So we were out of the fight. This is what happened, I guess. No, oh, don't put yourself in range. This is going to be a bit tougher than expected. She smited. Ooh. Really good. Yeah, I finished the trick. Okay. Yes, it's fine. Someone is pinging Nash. <laughs> that day we didn't get Drake. Yeah, I, I think. I yeah, even, even my call, I mean, I didn't ping it, but even my call was bad because Kane was coming. Like, we just had to wait for Kane basically to secure it 100%. It's okay though. This is not gonna open, it's not gonna open up um, Elder because that could be a way for coming back for enemy team if they manage to get Elder. Okay, I see that Kiana is top, I see that Cassidy is mid. And probably look for this. I wanted to ult at the very last moment. I still, uh, yeah, I think I still die. Not good. All right. Thank you for ping though. Because if I ult, he just tempos. My ultimate. I'm gonna backseat me, I'm gonna backseat you. That's that's how it works. I don't like how how is Kane losing all of his HP here? I'm a bit concerned because Cassadin could come and one shot. Someone should think here. No one's thinking. I don't like this. I'm not looking. Okay, I guess we get it. It was very close. Sure where he went. Well, this guy is way too tanky. Three levels up on that guy. Yeah, this guy is a pain. I think I need Rage Blade and some Armor Pen item. Yeah, I agree with the emergency. We need to end fast, but I think the best way of doing that is not to group as five. Grouping as five is the like has a big chance of not working.
we're on chem chemtech uh, map so I can can just use that to run away easily. I'm gonna mute everyone. They like they want to win. I'll give them that, but they don't have a clear idea of how to do that, so their messages are not helping me. If it's not helpful, if it's not useful, it shouldn't appear on my screen, that's that's how I see it. That's for example useful info that I can give them. I should have a red trinket, I should have a pink ward. It's my bad. Vivier got got. I had a feeling that maybe moving was the play, but not the play. Cannot go 1v4 like this. Come on, man. They're all 1 HP! Not that I would kill. Guess I didn't wait faster. And then I would have a uh, little tempo stacked and PD stacked to keep going and kill them one by one because they were like not, not stacked. Guess not. Didn't ult. I guess I'm playing the side lane. I am your worst. Okay, I need to play sides. I play side just to push games. Okay, well, I guess Shut down. there's a smolder here. Um, yeah, I was waiting to see if Cassadin goes on Severe. I didn't look at my W, there's a chance that's, yeah, it's uh, cheesed. It's not good. Kenny is gonna die to him, most likely.
trying to stay behind my CS. I don't get hit by his Qs. I don't like what Kane is doing. Bro, I'm getting 1v1 by level 14. Um, Time can support. And I'm not liking it. Yo, help. Zayra, I need you. All he has is armor. You come, we kill. Then we have a number advantage. Now you just push me, then you die. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so bad. I mean, I would need, like if I really want to win this, I would need to push my mic away and start typing. But here, when I'm recording, I have my mic in the way. And I cannot type. There I need you for TK, only one that can deal damage. Or maybe actually sell this for this and start working on Bork instead. Don't want to fight. Wait, do I not catch him? Bro, we're just getting outskated by all of their champions. He has, he has Rayleigh's and he out, he out runs my ghost. We just fry lays 11 cinched and I cannot do shit about it. Bro, we don't give a shit about this Drake. We need to make picks. That's kind of our only way out. But we need five. Stop being so low. It's been three minutes that we cannot play as five. And we need to make picks. The thing is, in their mind, they all are convinced that we lost the game already. So we're actually losing it because we're convinced that we lost it. I think that's their way of being right. To actually make the epiphany be true. Oi, oi, oi. We're getting dove under two turrets. Okay, but now we can go. That's the first loss, I guess. Oh, it's my bad. I, I didn't have the right to give any kill in that game. The the 1k shutdown on Kiana, like the game would have been very different if I don't give it. Let's rewatch that. Hmm. My bad. If I made mo no mistakes, would we have won that game? The answer is yes. So I lost us that game by making mistakes. That's it. Doesn't go further. Bro, legit, the fact that he outfriends my goals just with this 30%. 
48%. I guess he does. Also, I, pro I probably did the wrong builds. Or wrong focus. Let's see. So... Around here... Okay, what happened in that fight? Zara gets killed. And I'm looking to kill the jungler because we're looking to play for Drake. Tam can sh 1v9 that game. Actually not killing her. I'm looking to trap Smolder. I see that she's not gonna walk up, so I just E into W. I get stalled by Tamken, she's doing so much here. But during that time, they got double TP actually. Yeah, double two TP to win that fight, but that's not even my 1k shutdown. This is... What are we playing for? We're playing for Herald. What am I playing for here? Well, I'm feeling strong because I just bought two items. And I'm, well, stronger than anyone. And I have sums. So what goes wrong in that fight? I'm kind of like just stacking my... My PD and lethal tempo. I get eaten by Tamkench. Can I scan that out? Yeah, I give everything for Cassadin. Like, there's no reason. Cassadin is out. Kana is out. But now I make Cassadin being worth because he makes me use everything. And Kana being worth because she just kills me. When we actually killed the um, Tamkench. Got the Herald. Got to put the Herald down. Like, the game actually went bad when I started... Going on the map. Oh, I don't know where. What was that book? Not because I shouldn't go on the map and, and leave top lane once I got a really big lead and and turret taken. Well, I guess I still have T2 to take, but I really wanted to get T1 and T2 bot and open it up. But because I just did that wrong, like if my play is to go bot. Well, my play is then not to go mid on that fight. I just like felt really strong and really confident. I guess Sivir was not here. My jungler was late and I just like gave way too much here. Giving that 1k shut down to Kiana. And also not being alive, so not being able to pressure anything. Shut down. And now... We just give plenty of kills. I'm a go bot. Oh, damn, Ken, she's ridiculous, like a champion and a half. Um, okay, so we're able to catch that guy. Make a catch, make another on, on Singed. Ah, that's where. Yeah, imagine if Kane didn't ult here, where he absolutely doesn't need to ult. Well, he would have it for Kiana, and then Kiana would die, and then we just... Yeah, he would ult Kiana, and then she would die, and then we would get Drake, but that's not on me. I think this whole interaction is fine. Like, they use double TP for one Drake, so yeah, Dina is a soul point, but soul, like, soul is not even our own condition because of the nature of the soul. And I don't give a big shutdown this time, and now they have zero TP to play Nash, and it actually gets us Nash in some way. So I'm actually fine with this. I should have pinged Saber to wait for Arcane. The gym tank can shoot it so much, but I'm killing the ADC and I'm making them can just ult, and I guess like this pressure is enough for us to get Nash. My team is able to win top as well. That timer. Bro, like at this point he has two items. It's 9k gold. He's not even far from me in, ter in terms of gold. That's so crazy. How fed he got. Okay. So up, up until this point, it's still kind of fine. We have Nash now. And we can use Nash. Or to look to win the game. I'm bringing two people and I'm killing one. On a Nash timer. And during that time, we get T2 bot. So I guess it's 1 for 1 plus T2, which is not much. 
But it's something. I think I should be the one on site, but like, wait, should never be on site here. But again, it's not me. Now, yeah, that that might be one a big moment, because here I can probably like, he, does he have relays already? He does. I mean, I'm three items almost four to two items cinch, and actually, and he has celerity. I'm actually not sure that I can kill him. Straight. I feel like he can kite me forever. That's why I move here. By the time I move, they already lose. But maybe I should have, like, I'm three levels up. And the guy was not playing the best. Maybe it was time, like, to ghost on him. W. And look to kill him. But I, I swear, like, they, like, I might actually not even kill him here. Because of just, like, the nature of the champ. I'm... 6k gold up yeah that's 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 the issue with trinomer like if you cannot win your side lane and and like just kill the game 1v1 it's so much harder to be useful yeah i was very hesitant here i think i think that's the biggest play because if i manage to kill him well i either punish them hard for that fight or i make my team win that fight because then they look to defend on me and then i split the fight in two here I move, but then it's too late because they all died. Maybe I could have went crazy. I have ghosts. Can I actually fight this? Because I want three items and ghosts. And I click on that. What if I ghost here? Well, again, Tam Kench. Kassadin has ult, Smother has E, Kiana has CC and shit. And that's actually what happens a bit later because now they're split. And I still get kited like, like hell. Ah, oh, bro, I don't kill him. Like, what is this damage? Legit. Champion is so bad. And she doesn't die from that crit either. Maybe PD was a wrong spike, actually. Because if I go Kraken Navori, I can go Rage Blade third and actually have damage for Tamkench. And then I could go for Armor Pen earlier. Because here, like, I've spent 14,000 gold and I have zero Armor Pen. When this guy has Wardens and this guy has Tabis. Okay, and at this point, it's getting really, really tough. Really, really tough. And I'm kind of looking for picks. But maybe again, I should just be like fighting the. But legit, maybe if this this PD was armor pen, and then I go board class. Oh, that was a big, big mistake by me. Also, I was looking mid. I was not looking at my W. If I was, I could have prevented Singe from playing on that wave, and I would actually have pre pressure for um, Nash, which I failed to do on the play before when I was top lane. But here, like, it was a good time to get pressure and shit. But I let him proxy that wave. That was a big, big mistake by me. Like, really big one. Okay, well, I see my mistakes. I made plenty. And now, like, I mean, I mean, I think I ping to Zera to come, no? How many times should I ping it? Maybe I should just type Zera come, Zera come, Zera come. Bro, I get like I get legit 1v1 by level 14 time Kench. Four items train versus three items and a half, but I guess it's only armor. And I'm pinging her! I'm pinging! Like you have AP damage, that's our only way to kill the game. And if we kill the guy, she has 59 armor uh, magic resist. Then we kill him and then we can move to Nash, but instead she just calls mid and dies. Yeah, I think I think if I wanted to win that game, well, first I shouldn't have done my mistakes, but I could have all, like I should have also like typed a ton, and it's really hard for me to type whenever I'm recording games. As I said, because my mic is right here. And now we're just like dying on different timers because like now Kane died, so we cannot play. So we need to wait for Kane to be up. So, but now Hui dies, so we cannot play. So we need to for Hui to be up, but now. Kane dies, so we cannot play, so we need to wait for Kane to be up. And now Sivir dies, so we cannot play, so we need for Sivir to be up. 
and now we all day and it's GG. Okay, well, it was that kind of game where, I mean, every game, like, you should look to make zero mistakes, and it was that kind of game where if I did even one big mistake, it's, it was it was GG. Uh, my bad, I didn't manage to snowball my lead how I should have. Also, we had five grabs. I should have just, like, played the side lane and keep snowballing, because Sinch was able to come back on the game by just farming waves. I guess I should have just pushed, 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 pushed. It is what it is. Okay, while well, I'm posting this with the review, uh, thank you for watching it, guys. Next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, take care of yourselves. Good luck and fun game in real life. We'll see you next time. Peace, much love. Bye-bye.